Hey, how's it going? Doing anything in life will certainly give you a result. Not necessarily the result that you were anticipating though, but for sure you'll get something in return. Doing nothing will also lead to a result. And that result is called nothing. And usually the nothing effect is full of nothing. And it will fill you with nothing, pure void, a hole that keeps on growing, pulling you deep down into this endless rabbit hole of no value. You can still see dreams in the nothing state of things, but those dreams will not happen because for them to happen, you need to start acting. And that comes from leaving the nothing zone, that comfort zone of things you're used to, the old habits zone that got you this far, or to be more precise, this deep. So unless you change that set of actions or the mindset that got you here, you won't go there. I know it will take time. I know you might be scared of what would they say and that you've got nobody to support you and all the limitations that you and only you keep telling yourself the very long endless list of I can't, I couldn't, wouldn't and shouldn't. Yo, this is not a motivational speech. This is simply an invitation for you to clear that mirror, to see you the clearest. This is a reminder for you to rebuild your self image because the way you look at yourself decides who you will be, who you will always be. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be, including yourself. If it does not sound like magic, because you're magic, so be magic. Let the journey take all the time it needs. Replace the I can't with how can I. Change this shouldn't business with watch me make my tomorrow a better day. Last month the number one complaint was we don't have time to do the things we love. I hate my job and I hate school. Today the number one complaint is we don't have things to do. Oh my Allah I'm bored. <laughs> So what's the problem? Not having time or you? Now that you have the time, what are you doing with it? Social media where everybody's complaining about not having things to do? And spreading rumors, by the way. Maybe movies and series that eat your time like fire and leave you empty with nothing. Oh yeah, yeah, this is a good one. Food! Nom, 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 with a lot of weight gain and health problems. See, in every problem there's a huge opportunity if you're willing to see it. This time is finally the me time that you've been after for years. This time is finally the reading time. Or clean your closet and fix things around the house. This is the right time to grow in your soul and to connect rather than in size and on the scale. If food is your only source of entertainment, then the problem is not the fridge. Yeah, by the way, my fridge is there. Yo, stop lying to yourself. If you cannot lead your own life, then you deserve to be led wherever your daily leader takes you. You hired Netflix as the CEO of your brain and emotions. You assigned the fridge the responsibility of your health and you're simply just a follower. Why are you blaming the leader that you assigned? A fridge will lead you to the only thing it knows food. This time is family time. This time is a spiritual time. And definitely this time is no rumors time. Get to read about what's happening outdoors from the right sources. I'm surprised that we still have people around us that know nothing about the problem. And their number one source are the rumors on WhatsApp and Facebook and Instagram. Oh my God, did you hear this? Oh my God, did you hear that? And all that time that you spent at home doing absolutely nothing but complaining about having nothing to do, you didn't even bother to read about the number one thing that could actually put your life in risk. The number one thing that could actually kill you and or kill a person that you love. When you read, you'll know that chicken soup is not science and it's not a cure. When you read, you'll know that garlic is a cure for vampires and not the virus. When you read, you'll know how to wash your hands. When you stay at home, you're protecting your mama your baba, your sisters, your family and your loved ones. In our culture, if you love them, you need to hug them and kiss them. But nowadays, if you love them, you would keep distance. Doesn't mean that I love you any less. You're stronger than a virus. Great. What about the old lady in your house and your old man? Are they? When you stay at home, you will find a million and three ways to work, produce, create and finally grow if you want to or you will find an endless amount of ways to kill your time and eventually yourself your choice now which team are you on i'm certainly on team make tomorrow a better day